Happy day, and welcome to Susan and Solas Homestead. Please like and subscribe. Come on back, check out our other videos. You never know what you're gonna find. So, we've been experimenting with all sorts of feeders for our koi. Suzanne's uh, health food store has big pickle food grade plastic. We drilled a bunch of holes in the side, not in the bottom. Put some stainless steel chains on there with a little quick release if we ever have to clean it. And put it on the far end of the circulation of our water. Every night, hopefully she's gonna be able to come home with a bucket like this from the juice bar and just dump it in here and the fish will suck it out. We made a special mix, which Suzanne will tell you about right now. <laughs> Today's assortment is homegrown. I took a bunch of our homegrown veggies, squash and cucumbers, carrots. There's a bunch of tofu in here. There's a little bit of chicken. I hate to say like, I'm just throwing the kitchen sink, but everything's organic. And if we have leftovers like scrambled tofu, we put it in there and the fish love the super vegetables. And I put some hemp seeds in there for good fat. This protein. The fish eat, uh, we are what they eat. So as a part of our system, we definitely want to feed them organically. Plus, for the health and color of our fish, ooh, there's a surprise. Butterfly visited in the aquaponics. Anyhow, Back to where we were, we need to add, oh, we have some dried soldier worms in here also. And then, we're gonna dump it in here, and I'm gonna go get some spirulina to add it. Uh, now they're starting to figure it out. I'm going to add a little spirulina. That gives uh, antioxidants to the fish. It's great for their color. So it helps them see better too, just like people. And to rinse this off, I'm just going to water this down a little and see if we can get some action. So now they